Hey everyone, hope you're all very well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be going through the warm up, an often overlooked but an important aspect of resistance training which can actually make a difference. By incorporating a well designed warm up routine, we can reduce the risk of injury and also increase our training performance. So, without further ado, Let's get into it. The first phase of our warm up routine is going to be focusing on getting our heart rate up, increasing blood flow, and increasing our core body temperature, which has been shown to have a positive effect on both reducing risk of injury, but also increasing performance. Performing a cardio based exercise, for example, treadmill walking, perhaps an incline treadmill walk, cycling, Stairmaster with moderate intensity for about five to 10 minutes will be perfect for phase one of our warm up. In addition to raising your core body temperature, I personally find that this also helps me to focus and mentally prepare for the workout ahead. As a side note, if you have really limited time in the gym, you can skip this phase and go straight into the next one, as the rest of this warm up routine will still increase your core body temperature. Phase two is where we become a bit more specific as we aim to mobilize our joints and further warm up the muscles that will be targeted and involved in the workout ahead. This is where we want to choose dynamic over static stretches, since it's been proven that static stretches, where we stretch a muscle and then hold it for a period of time, can decrease force produ production and negatively affect training performance. Since our goal is to push and improve on our previous performance, we don't want to be doing anything that could potentially affect that negatively. Dynamic stretching, on the other hand, does not appear to have the same negative effect as static stretching, whilst, while still providing benefits in terms of increasing range of motion and increasing our body temperature, making it more suitable for our warm ups. Personally, I will almost always include spine mobility exercises in my warm ups. On the days where I'll be training legs, I'll perform hip mobility exercises as well. And on the days where I'm training upper body, I'll be including shoulder mobility exercises in addition to the spine stuff. Here are some example exercises which you can try out and incorporate. It's important to perform these exercises slowly and in a controlled way without using momentum and focusing on the range of motion during each exercise. The last phase of our warm up routine is where we become even more specific as we perform warm up sets of the first exercise on our program. The goal here is to both mentally and physically prepare for those challenging working sets. To give you an example, here's how I get ready for the first working set on the incline dumbbell bench press exercise. First, I'll start off nice and easy with some light dumbbells. Here I'm using 14 kilos, I believe. The goal is to simply practice the motion, make sure my technique is on point and increase blood flow to my chest, which is the target muscle here. I believe I did around 10 reps for this one. Then I'll go a little heavier and do less reps. It's important to stay far away from high intensity and reaching anywhere near failure during these warm up sets. Then I'll do one final warm up set before my actual working set. Here I pick a heavier weight 
closer, but not too close to my actual working weight, just to get a feel for that heavier weight. Now that I've done my warm up sets, I'm good to go. This is my first working set where I'm trying to go heavier with the weight for less reps. So a range of four to eight. On this occasion, I believe I got six. Not the best, not the worst, we continue. And there we have it. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it was a beneficial one for you. If you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments. If you have any feedback or if you have any video suggestions, please let me know in the comments as well. If you are enjoying the content, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.